<gasps> Two and a half year old Zoe loves exploring in the kitchen, but there are hidden dangers well within her reach, including the microwave, which Zoe just pulled open. I just never thought of it as something she would go into or be interested in. Nor did pediatricians until some noticed a trend. In the U.S., about 700 children a year were being rushed to hospital with traumatic scalding burns from microwaves, many involving the same food, noodle soups. He picked up the bowl and the juice just ran straight down to his chest. The pain that I felt, it was like somebody threw a torch in my chest. Take some deep breaths. Chicago-based pediatrician Kyron Quinlan proposed changes to manufacturers 15 years ago, hoping to make microwaves safer for kids. I thought this was a quick fix. It seemed like it just made sense. It was clear how these cases were happening, and it seemed so simple to just do something different with the doors. Childproof them, much like push-down and turn caps on cleaning products and medications, which have saved countless children from accidental poisonings. But change wouldn't come easy. Not very well received by the microwave makers, who, by the way, are on the voting standards technical panel. It's, it, they regulate themselves, basically. But manufacturers insisted parents should keep a closer eye on their kids. But Quinlan didn't give up, and he recently won his long fight. Beginning in 2023, microwave ovens in the U.S. and Canada must have two-step safety locks, which could be as simple as pushing two buttons at the same time, preventing kids from easily opening the door. If I could turn back that moment in time, and we hear this 400 times a year from the parents that come in. While microwave burns aren't specifically tracked in Canada, doctors see an average of 650 kitchen burns per year. They're welcoming child-resistant microwaves. If you've ever held a screaming two-year-old who's been scalded in their diaper or in their shirt, it sounds nice and easy, but to get that off, the skin is exposed for longer and their skin is thinner and so they're more likely to have permanent scars and or need surgery. The kitchen is full of fun but dangerous um, appliances. Child safety experts say adding your own latches can help too. As most parents know, with kids, things can happen in an instant. Christine Burak, CBC News, Toronto.